Hello, I'm João Paulo Casarotti, and on this video I will be talking about how to set up the OBS Studio with the software Classroom Maestro for your online music lessons. I'll be showing you how to create scenes on OBS such as these ones, where you have the face camera, you have my logo, and you also have displayed the software Classroom Maestro on my canvas. So I have my disc clavier, uh, Yamaha disc clavier, connected uh, to my computer uh, through MIDI cable. And when I play my piano, it will be lighted up and analyzed the chords of what I play and even the pedal moves. So it's a pretty neat device for uh, your online lessons. I can also um, do scenes such as this one where I have my logo again, my face camera, my top camera where you see the top of my keyboard and you have only the keyboard of the Classroom Maestro. Or even this other one that I have it all combined here uh, and I put the pedal on the right side. Okay, well just to make it things more clear I want to show you where everything is located here on OBS. On the bottom of OBS here, as I'm pointing with the mouse, you have the scenes. You notice I have several scenes created here and I put names for them and it's really important that you have these names so that you recognize later. On the right side, you will notice that every one of the scenes that I create, I have different sources. A window capture, another window capture, an image, uh, uh, video capture which is a camera another video capture and they all have titles so I know which ones I'm adding here to my scene on the canvas okay so uh, a really important thing to do when you're gonna create this scene with the classroom maestro is that you need to have the classroom maestro open on your desktop you see mine is open here I'm not gonna be discuss about the classroom maestro today uh, but it's important that you watch the tutorials that the Time Warp Technology offers on their website. They're pretty amazing tutorials, short, and they go into details about everything you need to know about the Classroom Maestro. But anyway, I am going to show you how to create this uh, scenes from zero. So if I click on the scenes area with my control and my mouse, I click, I will be adding a new scene. And this one I'm gonna call Maestro Tutorial. This will be my title for this. It's important that you put a title so that you know which ones. The name already in use. Okay, I'm gonna put another one. So Maestro uh, Show. Okay, here you have the canvas completely empty. Now I'm going to be adding the sources. So I do the same thing, Control, and I click, I'm going to be adding. You see you have several options here to add. Uh, I'm going to be starting adding a video capture, which is a camera. And I'm going to start a new camera here. So I'm going to put my face camera. I put that title. Now it's going to show me, uh, I click in here on the side, on the device. There's several cameras in here. So I'm going to be using my Sony camera here. I select, you see the image. Now you see that it's it's a default size. So if I click on the corner of the the camera of the, the screen here, I can actually resize it bigger and smaller. Uh, if I also click on option and I click on one of the corners too, I can actually crop it and select what I want to show. So I'm gonna probably just show this area here. And I'm gonna put it here on this side. I think that looks pretty good. I can make a little bigger. So I click on the corner and make a little bigger. Okay, now I'm going to be adding another source. I'm gonna be adding my logo. So I do the same thing, Control, Add. I go to Image. I already have my logo there, but let me create another one. Logo one. Uh, okay, I go here and I will be selecting the browse. I already have this logo on my desktop, so that will be this one. Open and I 
we check if this one okay good notice that's really big so I'm gonna make smaller click on the corner and I'm gonna resize it now I'm also want to crop this one so again I click the option and then I click on my mouse it will become green and I'm gonna select just this area here with my logo and I resize it good <clears throat> now the next thing I'm gonna be adding here will be the keyboard so I'm going to be adding another source so I click add and I'm gonna go put in here another camera so video capture device and I already have that one here listed so I'm just gonna add an existing camera and I'm gonna put the top okay as you notice here it's a little messy I don't want all this uh, mess uh, on my canvas so I'm gonna click option and I'm gonna select only the keyboard and hide all the mess look really professional so I'm gonna crop it in here it's great I actually like to keep a little bit of my um, arm and sometimes even my elbow to students it's important to see for alignment purpose but anyway I'm gonna show this here now it's too small so I'm gonna click on the corner and make it bigger okay now I'm gonna be adding the classroom maestro now since I told you the classroom maestro is already uh, open on my desktop so that's why it's important because now it's gonna be showing up here so again I go on sources click control and add I'm going to be adding now a window capture okay so when I click on window capture I, I'm already have it here but let's say I'm already gonna use this so it's already listed here Cla maestro classroom but let me see if I click in here and I want to add another uh, let's see demo maestro okay that's my title I click it here uh, I will be selecting a window since I have that already open on my desktop it will be showing up here so I click here and here I have it now I have it really big here I just want to show um, I could try to show the whole thing but I just want to show the keyboard uh, because of the proportion yeah, I want to make sure that I I match the size and align with my keyboard so I'm just gonna select my keyboard here so the same thing option click on the corner become green and I will be selecting here now I'm gonna put it here on the top I'm gonna make it bigger and I'm gonna line up with my piano it's a little too big I'm gonna make it smaller you see it's, it's quite simple to do this it's just uh, as you do the first time you will be able to do really quick so now when I play my piano here you will see lighting it up on the classroom maestro now I'm gonna add another classroom maestro screen here another source with it so that I ha I can have displayed on the staff what I play so I'm gonna click here uh, once more control add another window capture and here I already have it uh, listed so I'm just gonna add existing and I'm gonna put a demo maestro once again now I'm gonna select only the board here with the staff so it's the same process option and I will select there we go and I can place here is here I can make it smaller if I want now I will do one more thing I think it's important to have the pedal too but I don't want the pedal on the middle of the screen so I'm gonna add another source just with the pedal I think this pedal is great uh, you can also put your um, uh, camera on the pedal but I, I think that I like a lot this pedal uh, from the classroom maestro is clean and neat so actually I did it wrong I need to go back here and add sorry control add I'm gonna add a window capture and once again adding existing demo maestro so now I can go and select I'm gonna be selecting con option and select only the pedal and I'm gonna be making a little smaller here maybe need to make it bigger actually yep so I'm gonna place it here on the side so here I have my um, scene that I just created and when I play, you will notice that it will be displaying. And the pedal will also be moving. Now, you can do several 
different arrangements here. Uh, but if you want to display whatever is on your canvas here or whatever scenes you change it in here on OBS on your video conferencing, you need to make sure that you have your virtual cam turn it on. If you notice here, I have it um, on the middle here of the controls, you have start virtual camera. So I click that to make sure that it's on. Now when I go to my uh, Zoom or my Skype, I will be selecting one of the cameras and it will be showing up there OBS virtual cam. And when I click on OBS virtual cam and select that, everything that's showing on here on OBS will be displayed on your video conference app. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.